All right. Well, hey, uh, we got something here, folks. We got the smoking document. So, I uh, just emailed uh, this off to Ontario, um, uh, asking that that this be given some consideration to be looked at by the premier uh, or this people in charge of um, his health and lawyers, because there's some liability in this. There's there is medication and there is a uh, uh, um, a doctor's references to uh, for this. So this is from the Journal of Anti what uh, no it's from Oxford University the Journal of Anti Microbial Bio Chemotherapy so it's actually relates to cancer it's not even so this this is good. <laughs> We, have we been trolled into the cure for cancer? I didn't even re- <laughs> I didn't even realize it was chemotherapy. So anyway, we'll get into that later. This might be the point after all. Oh my God. But in here, is this the one? No. Okay. So anyway, this this that was the reference to what they talk about in here. So this is where I f- the information that is important here. So uh, Clark. Uh, um, chloroquine analogs and drug discovery, new direction of use, mechanisms, and all that. Toxic. So it just ba- it's everything you need uh, to know if if you're going to sue someone's ass, or if a doctor needs to cover his ass. This is basically the document, and it talks about the the drug itself, and it's good for cancer. Jesus Christ. So. It does a lot of different things, but there is a, sp- a part in here. I'm just kind of going through. There's anti-cancer strategies. There's uh, other illnesses, but in here is a, a, a heading that documents the time when they had used this medication for SARS in Toronto. And I want to get to that. Here it is. Okay, so chloroquine analogs and investigational drugs in micro infections. Uh, these analogs have been found to be effective against bacterial infections such as endocarditis and Q fever. Okay, that's interesting. Um, parasitic infections such as Guardiasis. Yeah, well, that, that, you've, I've heard of this stuff. Uh, Ebola. I mean, okay. So this is an old medication here because they used to uh, use it in tonic water. And it, um, people's diets used to be fortified with, with this base drug quinine. Uh, okay, here we go. So human... Co- Human cor- corona virus HCOV threatened to cause a pandemic of SARS. Chloroquine was shown to inhibit the replication and spread of the coronavirus in vitro and to prevent infections with human corona virus in newborn mice. This is COVID 19. This is the same one. It's the same virus. Okay. Human corona virus is a coronavirus that we have the Wuhan flu because it comes from bats. This one came from bats too. This was in Toronto. This also appeared as MERS uh, uh, because it came from a camel. It went from camels to humans directly. In this particular case, the disease would go from bat or uh, from bat to another animal and from another that animal to a human. And then every once in a while, one of those will become... Uh, a pandemic so they made this medication for that reason because it had happened already before they know there's a reservoir of uh, bats um, uh, carrying these coronaviruses that are that just have them in for life and then other animals become infected with it and end up dying that's probably how they freaking eat in the first place they go around infecting everybody and just eat the freaking remains okay so right on bats let's get rid of them fuck Jesus, stupid. So anyway, that's what this is from. And um, yeah, it's uh, okay. Analogs investigate drugs and microbial food. It works. Okay. It's shown to inhibit the replication and spread of coronavirus in vitro to prevent infections of human coronavirus in newborn mice. And this shows promise as a potential therapy for this resistant virus. This is it. So they were right. To, uh, to, to use this and if you're denying it you're going to have to turn around and going to have to uh, you know make your uh, your your uh, arguments based on this document here 
Okay? You want to throw this out and ter- make this irrelevant when it goes to court? You want to like, use this against politicians who f- fail to keep to, to, to allow doctors to use a medication that is essentially uh, not much different than aspirin? Okay? It has benefits, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's millions and billions of dollars in, in uh, therapies that would become obsolete should this become in, fortified in water again or just basically offered like... On the, you know, it's it's that's what keeps people healthy for Christ's sakes. So anyway, you guys are, who go around and want to use an excuse, right here, okay? The Journal of Acro of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy, Chloroquine Analogs and Drug Discoveries, New Direction of Use, Mechanisms of Actions, and Toxic Manifestations from Malaria to Multifarious Diseases. Fuck you.